in-laws, I got a tune update for you. One of several to come soon. Uh, I've been messing with this thing too. Not done with it yet, but uh, I'm messing with a lot of stuff because they changed the gears a little bit and uh, the handling a little bit. So the physics must have changed a little bit or something. Um, so I've been doing a lot of retuning and uh, this is the first of several of these retuning updates that I'll do. So this one's still, this is my black and tan work truck, Chevy work truck. Still diesel, turbo, all that, same as it was before. And, you know, the solid axle pro, heavy duty, front and rear. <coughs> Excuse me, axis width is .02. <coughs> Pardon me. Damping is 40-30. Stiffness is 17 grand. Travel is 0 0.40. And the rear axis width is 0.01. I don't know why it's a different number than the front, but it, it's like pretty lined up. Uh, damping is 3,800. No rear steer. 20,000 on the stiffness. Travel is 0.42, just a tiny bit higher than the front. Wheels and tires. Radius is 1.2, and width is 1.4. Same in the back. And the rim size is just stock. The gear tuning. So low, I've been using 1.8 a lot lately. Uh, after the low gear change that they made, 1.8 seems like a pretty good number for low. First gear is 3.6, 1.8, 1.1, 0.8, and 0.6. Um, it still tows pretty well. I did add a little more travel to it. Um, still tows really well. And drives really well. Uh, it's not crazy high, so you know it, it it'll bump into a lot of stuff, but it actually flexes really well for a not crazy build. That's about you know, as far as yeah, it starts to lift the tire about there. But you know, there's no clipping of the body going on. Those tires are squeezed in there, rubbing a little bit, but that's that's about par for the course. Anyway, a little bit of rubbing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't think I'm going to take it out and drive it. You guys know what it is. Uh, it's, a, it's my black and tan work truck. It's a badass truck. If you want to build it, you'll I guarantee you'll you'll enjoy driving it. It's, it's well balanced and you know it pulls well. It doesn't sink down too much when you put a trailer on it. Doesn't squat too much. And it still drives very well aside from that. And even does pretty decent in some trails. If you, you know, like going on a realistic trail run with out something super crazy like this. It's perfect for it. So I better take a screenshot here. Okay. There we go. I hope you guys like it. I'll be doing more updates soon. See ya.